Okay, class. This is another presentation in engineering economy. So, last presentation, we already discussed the simple interest and the compound interest. So, by this time, we are going to discuss the rate of interest, especially the effective rate of interest. So, actually, uh, the rate of interest is uh, divided into two or classified into two. Uh, one that is called a nominal rate of interest. So that nominal rate of interest is not uh, given more time in this discussion. But actually, the nominal rate of interest uh, the nominal rate of interest specifies the rate of interest in a number of interest period in one year. Okay, so for example, if the nominal rate of interest is 12% compounded semi-annually, then the rate of interest per interest period, uh, per interest period of course, is 6%. Since uh, same annually uh, the money invested will earn interest two times per year okay so by this time we are going to study the effective rate of interest okay so what is this effective rate of interest effective rate of interest it is the actual interest rate of an investment in one year. It is the interest rate for any compounding that will give the same accumulation as computed or compounded annually. Okay. The effective rate is equal to 1 plus i raised to n minus 1. Okay. So, that can also be equal to er equals to 1 plus i n over m raised to m minus 1. Or 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 is equals to 1 plus i n over m raised to m minus 1. So, this is the comparison or the equation of uh, two uh, types of rate of interest or two different rate of interest. Okay. So where M now, from the previous equation, that is the number of compounding in one year. Or ER is the effective rate of interest and IN is the nominal rate of interest. So take note, if the type of compounding is not mentioned in the problem, assume that it is compounded annually. If compounded annually, then... ER is equals to IN or simply the effective rate of interest is equal to the nominal rate of interest. M is equals to 1, N is equals to M or N is equals to N or the capital letter N is equals to small letter N. Okay? The, uh, because MN if you multiply M, multiply by N, that is equals only to 1. Okay. So, if not compounded annually, the effective rate of interest is greater than the nominal rate of interest or greater than I. Effective rate is equals to compounded annually. Okay. One year is equals to 365 days. 
Okay, so to make it uh, clear, it is uh, good if we are going to take an example to this kind of problems. Okay, so let us consider a problem. What is the equivalent nominal interest rate compounded quarterly of 12% compounded semi-annually? Okay, so we will notice that there are two rate of interest. That is quarterly and semi-annually. Okay, so let us now consider the quarterly. So the equation is 1 plus i raised to n minus 1. Okay, that is the original equation. We eliminated also uh, already the, the 1 here. Okay, so for quarterly, that is 1 plus i. So i is unknown. Okay, divided by 4 raised to mn, n is 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. So that is also equivalent to 12% compounded semi-annually, which is also equals to 1 plus 12% 0.12 semi-annually divided by 2 raised to 2. So that is 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 minus 1. So that minus 1 here supposed to be is already eliminated. So therefore, I now is equivalent to 11.825%. So that is compounded quarterly. Okay? So I think this example is very clear. Okay, so let us take another example. Okay, example number two. Determine the nominal rate compounded semi-annually that yields the same amount as 16% compounded annually. Okay. So, if compounded annually, no problem. Okay? So, for semi-annual, that is equal to 1 plus IN over 2. Since the number of interest period in one year is 2. So the exponent is 1 multiplied by 2, mn. n is 1, m is 2. Okay, so that is 1 times 2 is 2. Equals to 1 plus 0 0.16 or 16% compounded annually raised to 1. So 1 is not written, okay? So therefore, the value now of I n is equals to or the nominal rate of interest is equivalent to 15.41% okay so this is the way how we are going to solve problem like this okay another example Determine the corresponding effective rate of 8% compounded daily. Okay. So, effective rate is equals to 1 plus i raised to n minus 1. Okay. Effective rate. So, ER is equals to 1 plus 8%. That is 0 0.08 divided by Compounded daily. So, in one year, that is equivalent to 360 days. Or the number of interest period in one year is also 360 minus, okay, minus 1. So, therefore, the effective rate now is 8.33%. Another example, okay. If the sum of 15,000 is deposited in an account 
earning 4% per annum compounded quarterly what will be the deposited amount at the end of 5 years what is the effective rate per year okay so again the equation for compound interest the future amount is equals to f or f is equals to p multiplied by 1 plus i raised to n okay where f now is equals to p p is 15000 or the principal amount multiplied by 1 plus 4% 0.04 divided by 4 that's quarterly raised to 20 so the number of interest period for a period of 5 years is 20 times so therefore the amount or the future amount is 18,302.85 okay so determining now the effective rate okay so that is 1 plus 4 percent over 4 raised to 20 is equivalent to or equal to 1 plus i so raised to 1 okay raised to 1 so 1 is the threaten so therefore i now is equals to 4 point 06 percent okay lastly okay so this is board examination October 1989. So it is a practice of all banks in the Philippines that when they grant a loan, the interest for one year is automatically deducted from the principal amount upon the release of money to a borrower. Let us therefore assume that you applied for a loan with a bank and the amount of 80,000 was approved at an interest rate of 14%, of which 11,200 was deducted and you were given a check of 68,800. Since you have to pay the amount of 80,000 one year, up there what then will be the effective rate of interest okay so no problem so the number of interest period per year is only once okay so the future amount is 80,000 the present amount is 68,000 and then multiplied by i what 1 plus i raised to n then getting the value of i since I here is nominal rate equal to the effective rate, then the value now is 16.28%. Thank you. So that ends my presentation.